Hey, it's me, JV, and I'm JV, the Antique Artistic, and today we're going to do a little artistic spinning straw into gold. Can you see this ugly, 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 ugly bathroom countertop? We've thrown it away. We have replaced it. Um, not because of being able to unfinish. It was just bad quality. And so, in just a few minutes, I'm going to start painting it right here. Okay? Okay, right now what I'm doing is the area that has been blocked off with the tape, which by the way, before you do this, you always need to clean it really good of any grease and you need to tape it off. I'm painting this right now. I'll probably put a second coat on and then we'll let them dry and see what happens. I haven't done this before, but I just thought it might be fun to dapple it a little bit and see what happens. By the way, there are nail holes. We are throwing this away. I would normally fill in the nail holes, you know, and and uh, then sand it down. But right now, I am just doing this. I know I've never done it this way before, um, but I think it will be just another cool thing, I think. So I'm doing that, and I'll be back in about half. In case you didn't see my old video where I showed this, this is basically what we're looking for. We're going to do something similar to this. This had the exact same top on it as the one outside that we're junking. We're doing it a little differently though because we're going to be dappling and also because um, <clears throat> we're going to be using some different colors just for fun. And um, for your base color that you put down, it can be any color. You know, I had an off-white because I just painted something in the house that's off-white. But it could be black, it could be gray, it could be tan. Usually I use tan or gray, but this time I'm using a, a, an off-white. And so I'll be, next time you'll be seeing me, I'll be starting the procedure. Go. Okay, so now this is dried. And what these are, what I have here is different colors of acrylic paints that I got. They're like 50 cents. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere. And for my application, I crumple up. Some people use sponges. I crumple up uh, paper towels for it. And um, no, let me tell you something, my house, like you saw my countertop in there, it's all like in neutral colors and my house is in neutral colors and when we fix these houses up, we fix them in neutral colors, but to tell the truth, I'm not a neutral color kind of girl and I never have been. When we got our house ready to sell in Bennett, I, uh, <clears throat> I'll start with this, I used all sorts, of, it was all sorts of crazy colors and so we had to repaint it because they had like purple and blue, purple and <laughs> Green in one room, I had red raspberry, I had everything you could imagine. So, since we're not going to be keeping this anyway, I'm going to be just, let me just dab real soft. If you get some extra, don't worry, she's going to be putting so much on it. Um, you just dab, 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 dab. You know, and, and you know, don't try to make it like a special design or else it will just, I don't know, I won't like it. I mean, you, you won't, you don't want it to be all matchy matchy. And like I said, I'm using some bright colors because we're not, we're just throwing this out anyway. And so I'm just using colors that I like. <laughs> Which I'm sure that nobody else will want these colors, but hey. And so I, I do that and I just dab, 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 all over the place. All over the place. Don't need to about dabbing too much. I should be a, a more light touch than I did here, but that's okay. It all works out. You make a mistake and somehow it all makes it better even. So. That's my brightest color, but it's really bright. Okay, and it's just do that. Then you grab another color. And by the way, I will go back to this peacock blue again. I will go back to all the colors over and over and over again. Now I think I'll do, ooh, how about black? Some people like to let it dry. I kind of like a little bit of mixing it, especially if you're careful to do well, kind of light on your, whoops, like that, like that. Um, and so I'm dabbing this all over. You guys, and if you start doing this, see how crappy it looks. When you get to the point where it starts looking crappy, you're, you're going to go, oh my God, I, I must have messed this whole thing up. That's when you'll know you're doing it right. Um, honestly, that is when you'll know. Because you got to make it look really bad before you could make it look beautiful. That's just how it works. And the whole thing, to do your kitchen costs, 
about fifty dollars if you to do a, a regular size kitchen. That's assuming you go down. Um, we're going to be using this this um, glaze on top, and when we do, make sure to go online and get your coupons for forty percent off. And because you can do everything so much cheaper that way. And so I'll just keep dabbing away and let my poor husband go upstairs and watch his movie. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I will probably go on to do a little gray after this. Okay. Thank okay, this is the pour on plastic. Comes in a little box. It's called EnviroTax Light. Yes. And that's what we put on. I'll show you in here in a minute. Okay, I just poured the two hardeners, the resin out of one bottle and the hardener out of another bottle. Vicki is now mixing it up real slowly and carefully, trying not to get air bubbles in it. And with the hardener and the resin, it will be ready in just a couple minutes to apply to the countertop. Going. Okay, now Bob is going to um, lay this on. Right now he's pouring it on. It's very important when you mix it up that you uh, follow directions very carefully. Um, I'm actually not sure if you're supposed to use an aluminum pan like we're using, but we figured in comments I'll put whether you are or not. We just figured it's okay because we are just throwing away this old vanity anyway. But Bobby's just pouring it on and like I said before, make sure you um, make sure you go online and get your 40% uh, coupon off and then you can do your whole, you'll need bigger box than that. Um, you'll only be able to get your whole uh, kitchen counter done um, for under $50 and it really will look like granite. It'll, it'll look really, really pretty. See, he's spreading it on right now. And um, you don't have to, like, worry about getting it exactly smooth. Because it will... Level uh, itself out, level yes. Level itself out, yes. It will level itself out. Ooh, we're getting there. Just a little more here. Okay, all I'm seeing is your shirt. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay, I'm trying to find it again. Okay. We are just about done. Okay, he's got that. Now what you do, and you let it self, you let it self level. I wish I could see it a little bit. Here, now I, I will do. take over and finish filming for you. Okay, and do this because that's my job. Oops. I can't even see it. It's hard to see with the lighting, but you can start you already start to see the glossiness of it. Then you take your brush like Vicky's doing, and apply it to the sides. You also want to make sure that there's no runs going oh, off, camera. going off, no, it's showing over here, going off the sides. Okay, we didn't do that one side. No, we didn't, but this is just a display. Okay, yeah, you guys, yeah, this is actually just a throw together job. If you wanted us to do it with the details, the special effects and stuff like that, we will be glad to do that for you. Um, Okay, what, what it looks like right now will level itself out, but if you see the shine and everything on it, this shine does not in any way diminish. It gets, if anything, shinier. So well, we, and so it will look like that, contrast it to that, use whatever colors you want. That's what it um, used to look like. That's finish, now what it looks like. It will finish leveling, and when it finishes, and it will stay hard. My one inside, you're not supposed to use knives and such on it. Sharp knives have been used. It's still in perfect shape. And... <laughs> See to take care of, and um, I guess that's pretty much going to be it. So, if you please subscribe, if you want more details, so that you can know about the special effects with marbling and and with feathering and all that kind of stuff, I'll make another one that is much more detail oriented. Um, and for now, for you haters, we're here. We're